Hi, this is David from MLC CAD Systems, and today I'm going to show you a, a simple and effective technique for streamlining your file usage uh, when you're loading a CNC machine. Uh, one of the things I find a little frustrating sometimes is when I start on a new part file and I'm programming for an existing CNC machine, uh, I don't always have uh, my tool paths and my tool library on hand uh, from, the, from the off. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you, uh, like I say, a very simple, very effective technique for just making sure that when you pull in a CNC machine, you're getting the operations and the tools uh, that you like uh, from the beginning rather than having to, to go hunt for them every time. Okay, so what I've got going on here is I've just got a simple part file and I've got a, a machine pulled in and it's just a generic Haas three-axis vertical machining center. And... I'm going to go ahead and look first and see what this machine already has assigned to it. And I can do that by looking in the machine group properties in my toolpath manager, and I'll look in the files, and I'll see that, uh, yes, I have a machine, I have a control unit, and I have a, a post assigned to it, and those are fine and certainly will be the subject of future videos. But what I'm really interested in for this is what tool library and what defaults library is this machine using? Because both of those are uh, very potential, uh, very, have very good potential, let's say, um, for saving you some time. So we'll start with the operational defaults. And if you're not sure what the operational defaults library is, I'll give you a little background. Uh, when I select a tool path in MasterCam, oftentimes it comes in uh, with things already set and determined. And uh, those are either close or, or not very close to what I want to use. So what a lot of users will do is they'll modify and make adjustments to your operational to their operational defaults. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at how I can do that. So I can reach my operational defaults library and make modifications through the machine group properties. So in Toolpath Manager under machine group properties under files, down here at the bottom are the operational defaults. And to access them, I can actually go ahead and click uh, this exclamation point here, which will take me uh, to the default window. And, you know, simply put, what I'm looking at here is every milling toolpath MasterCam is capable of performing. Uh, everything from the simple 2D stuff through the 3D surfacing all the way up through the multi-axis. And again, every time I enter or I create a toolpath, uh, it's coming in with some information. And this is where that information comes from. So say, for example, we're looking to just save myself a little bit of time here. And, you know, uh, for pockets, let's say, for example, under pockets, uh, I usually always use a parallel spiral at, uh, we'll just say, 20% step over. You know, that's, that's my standard. I, I tend to use that consistently, uh, let's just say. So every time I open up a pocket, it'd be nice if it was already set to parallel spiral and a 20% step over. Perfect. Let's say under entry motion, I am much more of a ramp person and I like to do ramps. Well, every time I open it up, I want it to make sure that it is set to do a ramp, uh, which will just save me the hassle of clicking you know, from something else. So it's always set to a ramp and you know I can better define if I have certain uh, styles I like the ramp to to run as. Uh, I can set those here, but you know, sometimes simply just changing it to ramp is all I need to do. Uh, maybe under cut parameters, uh, I'm always frustrated that I have to change uh, the stock to leave on walls and floors to zero, because every time I open up a pocket, it's at 50 thou, so I can make a change there. So I'll just change both of those to zero and zero. That's fine. Uh, say, for example, uh, on my finishing, uh, I'm, you know, a habit of doing two passes at, uh, you know, spaced out by five thou, you know, no, well, five thou, we'll say, All right? And uh, I tend to always machine the, uh, the finish pass uh, after the po pockets are all roughed, and I always like to keep the tool down between the rough and the finish. You know, little changes, you know, little things. Lead in, lead outs, maybe I like them shorter, so... You know, maybe I drop those down a little bit just to, just to go ahead a little closer to the things. And maybe I always use overlap or, you know, any other changes I want to make. I can, you know, go through the entire toolpath and get it a little closer 
to what I like. For example, on the linking parameter page, uh, say I'm only using absolute values and I'm always using clearance. Well, it'd be nice if, if those were already set or turned on or closer to what I like. So either I don't have to change them every time or I don't forget about changing them and cause myself some grief. Uh, something like arc filtering, usually by default is turned off. Well, maybe I like arc filtering to always be on. And maybe I have a particular method I like to split my tolerances. So little changes. I mean, real obvious one, coolant. I would like coolant to always be on this toolpath. So I can literally go through every single toolpath, uh, if you have the time, uh, and make whatever little changes I want so that when I open up and I select that toolpath going forward, it's just closer to what I usually have it set to. Now, the problem is that the operational defaults library is located on the shared master cam folder. And what that means basically uh, for the end user is that anyone with access to this computer uh, can access that shared folder. It's in the public documents. So if I'm sharing a system or a computer with two other shifts or another coworker, and they're also using master cam, uh, they can also come into the operational defaults library and make whatever changes they see fit, uh, just like I can, they can. So potential, you know, problem if I don't understand or I don't realize that other people could change these uh, without me being aware because Master Cam won't tell me they've been changed. So what I usually recommend for people who are sharing systems to do or uh, or just, just to keep it better organized is to make a copy of that operational defaults library. And that operational defaults library is located uh, in the shared folder. So if I look at my Mastercam shared folder, in this case for 2020, and I look under mill, I will find the ops folder. And in the ops folder, these are the mill inch MCAM defaults. These are the ones, when I just made those changes, where they were being saved to. So what I usually recommend people do is, you know, make a copy of this. Make your own copy of your defaults library. So I'm going to just grab a copy of this, and I'm going to put it somewhere else. Uh, I could put it on a, on a thumb drive. I could put it on a local disk. I could put it in a parts folder. Um, I'm just, for the argument here, I'm going to go ahead and put it also on my public folder. So I'm just saying, so I'm just going to call this uh, my defaults 2020. And I'm just going to go ahead and just paste that in there. So. That is my, will be going forward, my, my standard defaults location for this machine. So once that's in a new place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Mastercam and I'm going to look to change what happens or what folders get pulled in when I select this Haas machine. Uh, I want the tool library to be specific. And I want the operational defaults to be my operational defaults, not the, the one everyone can touch. So let's look how to do that. Now, I could change them temporarily here simply by clicking on these buttons. But every time I pull that machine in, it'll revert back to the standard settings. So I want to make these changes more or less permanent. Uh, so I can't do that from this window. What I need to do is actually I need to go up to the machine tab and I need to go into the machine definition. Uh, the machine definition, if you're uninitiated, is basically the folder, what they call the, the MMD for mill, mill machine definition, that is everything this CNC machine is. So uh, the physical components that make it up, uh, certainly the control unit and the post file it's using, but also uh, what it uses for a tool library and what it uses for an operational defaults. So we'll start with the uh, operational defaults first. So to change that, from the uh, control, or sorry, from the machine definition, I need to click on this button here, which will take me to the control definition. So let's click here to go to the control def. It just takes a second, there we go. And over here on the left, I'm looking for files, and there's files. And right here in the center are some, some things I can change, where my post is coming from, setup sheets, that sort of thing. What I'm looking for is, Default operation library inch, that one right there. Uh, and once that's selected, I'm going to change where that's being pulled from. Uh, if I look here, this is still coming from the shared master cam folder. So that's the, the regular one. So I'll just click this button here to change its location. 
And you can see I'm in shared 2020 mill in ops. And what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my public. My default's 2020. There's my database that I'd like to use. I'm going to grab that. And defaults 2020, it says that it's there. All right, so I'll just click Save. And then green check out of there. Now, while I'm in here, I'd also like to change the default tool database. Um, if I'm writing for a machine and that machine generally has a, a somewhat stable uh, catalog of tools on it, uh, I find it frustrating to have to recreate that for every new part file for that machine. So I find it much easier that when I pull in that machine um, and I open that machine to program with, that those tools are already loaded on the machine and I don't have to uh, you know, go, go hunt and find and recreate stuff or pull them from a previous library. I just like them to be there. So to do that, uh, also from the machine definition, I'm going to click on the general machine parameters button. It's this blue one up here. Right to the left of control def. Now I'm going to click on the general machine parameters. That will bring up this window. Uh, several tabs in here, lots of stuff to play with. But what I'm interested in is the tool, uh, tool slash material libraries folder. And these are the tool libraries this machine is, is set to use. And uh, you can see we're using shared astrocam mill tools, mill underscore inch tool db. That is the standard default tool library. And in fact, for the most part, when you open up any machine in Mastercam for the first time, it's almost always using this library. And what I like to do is I'd just like to assign it to my, my, my proper Haas library. So I can do that real easy by simply changing the location or where it's pulling that from. So I'll click here, which will take me to my shared Mastercam 2020 mill tools. And these are all my tool databases. And these can come from a lot of different places. You can create these. You can download them. Uh, a lot of manufacturers. We've got all the, the Harvey stuff and the Helical and Isker and all kinds of fun stuff. What I'm looking for, though, is this one right here, Haas VF4. That is the tool library with, I think, 22 or 23 tools that are already loaded uh, on our Haas and that, have, you know, that, that tend to stay there. So I'm just going to select that and hit Open. And I can see there. And you know what? Automatically load tools when machine is read in the machine group? Yeah. If I'm always using the same tools or using a similar amount of tools, it'd be nice if you know, every time I pick that machine, they're already loaded. I still don't even have to pick them. They'll just be there and waiting for me. So I'll change that, automatically load. A half via 4 that's the light library. Sounds good. I'll green check. I'm going to hit save here at least twice. <laughs> And then I'll go ahead and green check out of there. And it's going to ask me in a second if it wants me, if I'm okay with replacing the machine group. I'm going to say yes because I've made changes. Yep, please go ahead and change that. So now hopefully when I go ahead and click Files, ah, so my tool library we can see here is now my VF4 tools. And my operational defaults database is now the, the my defaults, the copy of mine. So that means that uh, now when I go to my tool manager and start grabbing tools or check, they're pulling from this library. And when I start writing Toolpath themselves, they are coming directly from my own operational defaults library that I have control over. And I should be the only one with access to it. So let's check. So I'm going to check my tool manager first. And I can see, yep, there are the tools ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop them in. So those are the 23 tools on my Haas that are always there. And, you know, I don't have to go hunting for them. They're just there. And then hopefully, if I go ahead and check, I'm going to go ahead and write a pocket. And this won't be much of a pocket, so bear with me. And we'll just go ahead and chain a loop right there. And I just want to see, did it hold on to everything? Well, the tools are there, so we'll just grab a half-inch tool. We'll grab tool number one. I'm going to go to Cut Parameters. Yeah, okay, the stock's off the wall, so that's a change we made. So it's grabbing from the right defaults library. Roughing, yeah, parallel spiral, 20%. That's what I like. Is it set to ramp? It is set to ramp, so that's pretty good. So I can go ahead and... Set up my ramp entry if I want to. And we'll do that. And 
finishing. Yep, two passes, lead in, lead out. Yep, so it, it did grab all of that. And all I need to do is just go ahead and set in some values for my depth and for my top of stock values. Now in arc filtering, also there. So I'm much quicker, much further along from writing the toolpath I want to write. Uh, I don't have to uh, start everything from scratch. I've already got the tools in my tool database, uh, you know, are the tools I'm using. And I've also got the operational defaults, which are much closer uh, to what I'm writing. So I can spend much more time in this particular case, just going back and fine tuning stuff. Like, yeah, I didn't make that many changes, you know, to the entry. So might want to change that. But the basic idea is that I can take stuff that I'm using all the time, you know, things like a tool library, things like, you know, operations that I've modified and I've made changes to. Um, and I can have them be my default settings without, like I say, always having to switch them out or, or go find them. I can pull a machine and I can have it use the stuff that I'm using. And, you know, you, you do enough of this, uh, it will save you uh, certainly some minutes here or there, and that does add up. So uh, just a quick demonstration of, of a couple, couple simple things I can do. Uh, to save myself some time, assigning a tool library and an operational defaults library that I have access to, uh, to a specific machine. And now from now on out, or from here on out, when I go ahead and pull that machine in, uh, those items will be there waiting for me. So thank you very much. This is, again, David from MLC CAD Systems, and thanks for watching.